Computer Chronicles 3D Graphics. We'll show you the difference a 3D accelerator card can make on your computer. You'll find out how to use 3D objects in presentations, ads, web pages. We'll show you a great new 3D modeling tool called Poser 3. And want to know how they do all those cool 3D effects in TV commercials? We'll show you the software. Plus, a look behind the scenes at PDI, the computer animation shop that made the movie Ants. And my pick of the week, a webcam that doesn't require the web. It's all coming up next on the Computer Chronicles. The Computer Chronicles is brought to you by BigStar.com, with thousands of videos and DVDs for the whole family. Additional support by TechWay, for up-to-the-minute technology news. And by TVA, Television Associates, bridging the worlds of computers and video with DVD authoring and MPEG encoding services. Hi and welcome to the Computer Chronicles. I'm Stuart Chappé. Well, I guess it was about hey, well, I guess it was about 30 years ago that 3D movies were the rage. You put on those funny glasses and watched spears coming out of you from the movie screen. Well, 3D is a hot topic now in computers, but we're talking about a different kind of 3D. You don't need glasses just the ability to take advantage of the depth of objects, the ability to move objects around in three-dimensional space. It takes hardware and software to do that, and we're going to begin by focusing on the hardware. Brian, hardware. Brian you guys have a 3D accelerator card called the Voodoo, or Voodoo 2 now, I guess is what we're using. What does a 3D accelerator card do for me? Why should I buy one and put it in my PC? Well, the 3D accelerator allows you to offload the graphics functions from the Pentium and the 2D card so you have a dedicated graphics processor, which can give you better frame rates and better special effects. All right, so it's going to work faster, and therefore it's going to allow me to see things essentially I couldn't otherwise see? Correct. All right, let's try to demonstrate that. Quake is thought of as a 3D game, if you will. You move around in 3D space, but most people play it in a very flat kind of 2D environment. And let's sort of do a before and after and show us the difference. See, what you're saying here, then, is without a 3D effects accelerated card, you're running off of your 2D card in the penny in here. And you get an okay game experience. It's a little bit blocky as you That's see. It's pretty crummy looking when you get close, as we know. And then as you see the uh, men further away, you can't, you can't pick out a lot of the details. But now if I switch to the 3D mode and allow it to load up, you get a much higher quality picture oh, that's a and color depth. Picture. And there's special features like the color lighting that just wouldn't be present in a software-only version. Uh -huh. So you get a better game experience, better visuals. It's totally different looking, really, isn't it? Yep, so much faster also. All right, now there's another example I want to ask you about. You know, for gamers, you think about, well, there's arcade quality games, and then there's sort of the Sony PlayStation quality, and there's a PC, and there's a battle over where you get the best quality. Can you get actually the top kind of quality in terms of the 3D effect on a PC if with a 3D card? You actually get much better game experience from a PC with a 3D effects card installed. There are arcade games which use Voodoo graphics in the arcade, right. and then there's console systems which use their own dedicated graphics processors. But what you get with the 3D effects is a better game experience, better resolutions, 